Hi everybody, a uh, <laughs> very quick word from the kitchen. So, um, I, was working, I was working yesterday just finishing off uh, one of these new uh, Therm Rest style, well, Therm, therm Rest um, boat fenders, which seem to work quite well. This is the new fabric, and the ends are slightly different in that they are rip, rip stop nylon and the uh, proper proper tapes and D-rings are on. But they seem to work quite well. So, I've done one of those which is one of the actual fenders we're going to use and I did one cover for the actual therm rest and then in, in the middle of all that work yesterday it was a huge surprise I wasn't, wasn't really anticipating it yet in that uh, drop, dropped in the, the porch this morning was this big big sack and it's, it's um, kind of a case of oh wonder what can be in there well, it's fairly obvious because it's got the name of the sail maker on it so we're actually going to whip the sails out and um, quickly just take a look at from one big bag of sails and indeed one sail bag. It's a bit exciting, isn't it? Yep. There's obviously two sails in there, so uh, I can't I can't really get them out in here because we just just don't have the space. So what I've done this morning, what I've done this morning, is I've pulled the boat out from under the shelter, and for the next couple of days, I'm just going to work on fitting the sails. So um, that's what's going to happen today. <laughs> All right. So uh, you know, crack on, eh? Now, there's a little bit of a problem today. That this, we didn't have the car yesterday, so I've I've just done a job of you know heaving the boat out and pulling it forward. But um, I'm actually looking out at the boat, which is in the drive. There's a bit of a problem this morning in that this this consistent northeasterly wind is still here, and you know, one of one of the, one of our trees outside is is moving quite consistently. And I think that creates a, a bit of a problem because the boat is is facing downwind. You know, it's um, the the wind is coming over the over over the transom, if you like. I think that's going to make it a real problem to actually hoist uh, the, the the gaff and sails, especially for the mainsail. So I may have to move the to try and turn the whole boat around in the drive, which is a real problem. But I'm going to see how far far we get. And said so the, the, the change of plan is that what we what we were originally going to do was take was take the the whole rig down to one of the marinas and put put it in the water and do all the work on the water because then I have access to the the main chandleries for all the bits and pieces that I need. But I think in fact that it pays just to do a few days of work here, sorting out the basic problems, and then perhaps going on the putting it on the water and you know, getting all the you know, getting all the bits and getting bits and pieces. So. Sorry, that's the second part of ch change of plan. Uh, and so, um, several hours later, as they say, I'm just taking a break in the house because it's hot and windy and warm out there and I'm almost getting a migraine because I'm having to go from the boat uh, into, the, into the workshop, so from my eyes being really dilated to being really constricted. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. In fact, I've got at the moment uh, two fairly serious problems. Uh, one is that um, I've just... 
uh, laced the, the head of the mainsail um, roughly to the gaff and hoisted it. And the first thing is that the uh, the the gaff is actually too short for the um, gaff length on the sail. It's only, that's only by a few inches, and it's a fairly minor mistake. Although you know it doesn't fit the gaff, but I can fairly easily build a new gaff spar. Yeah, that, that that's fairly easily done. But the the second problem is a really major problem, and that is that the luff length of the sail is is too long uh, for the mast in that. When, when the, the gaff is fully hoisted, uh, it comes up and it's jammed up, up against the shrouds. It means that the, the gaff can't rotate. It, it, it'll, it'll just try and like, t t tear, the, tear the shrouds off. So the, that seems like a major error. Now, I'll jump forward in another couple of hours because I've actually already done this. In that um, I pulled the sail off and I laid out the sail underneath the shelter uh, and I've measured all four corners and I've, I've pulled, up, pulled up the emails between myself and the, the sail maker and I've just checked the sail against my sail measurements and it's exact, they're, they're, they've built exactly what I've asked for. It looks as though what I've done is I've made a huge mistake in either my, my measuring or my tra transcribing of my measurements between measuring and sending the sail maker the measurements. So, just, so I keep looking outside because I'm looking at it and thinking, oh, I've what done. Um, what I've done, this is kind of now the, almost the end of the day, is that I've laid the whole sail out, measured the corners and, and re-measured the rig. And what I've found is that I've made a fairly catastrophic error in the, the luff length in that it's, a, it's almost exactly 500 millimetres too long. Now, I, th I think I can see what I've done. I think I've transcribed a, an actual measurement of 3.3 metres, which is the luff length, as 3.8 meters in the 3s and 8s in my rising maybe look the same. So basically uh, the sail doesn't fit. That's a problem, you know, it means, it means that whatever happens next is delay. And what I've done now is with the sail laid out, uh, I've measured where the, the luff length needs to be measuring upwards from the tack and laid a batten, uh, which you can see on this, um, on, on these last pictures and what it seems to demonstrate is that if we maybe took a, a triangular slice out of the top of the sail going from my new uh, actual throat position to the existing uh, peak position what we'd end up with is a, a slightly shorter of sail but has a, has a peak in the same position and would only have uh, a slightly taller and obviously longer longer long, longer gap to fit so maybe maybe it's not a disaster it just feels like one at the moment. So uh, I've had and I'm having a really crap day. Um, the end of the day, if the wind drops, oh, sorry, I keep looking at the we're looking at the cherry blowing all over the place. Um, we'll we'll pop the um, jib up and just make sure. Well, no, we will find out whether that fits or not. But at the mo at the moment, uh, today isn't going very well. So um, gonna have coffee, take a break, and then. Uh, I'll re-measure my re-measurement of everything and just see exactly where I'm at. Bummer.